Hang about. Like, I actually don't know how long it's been. Give me two seconds. So it's been over a week since my last video. And if you haven't watched that, as I said in the previous one, link is in the description. But before that, the last video was like three weeks ago. So my last video was three weeks ago. And I haven't said anything about that really and truly. I haven't really put money things on my Twitter. But if you haven't already subscribed to it, link is in the description. Like, that's why I try to like kind of, you know, keep the day, keep you guys up to date. Or I just post funny things, like funny videos, like you can see on the screen. Now, but yeah, basically I thought I'll tell you guys what I've really been up to in that time so you guys know exactly what it is I've been doing. So obviously I've been working over the summer holidays, mainly because, you know, YouTube ain't generating that much money for me. I think you can see here, I don't make any money off YouTube. So I do this purely out of just like, you know, I enjoy it, but sadly, I just get home and I just, I just wanna go to sleep when I freaking, you know, get home from work. That's why I haven't really been uploading. It's one of those things. But if you guys ever did want to ask me where the hell I was, like I said, the best place to hit me up is either on Twitter, or on Facebook. Both of those are in the description. That's the second time I've said it now. One of the things I've been doing now that I've had so much free time is I've been catching up on a lot of series. You know, I've been watching a lot of TV shows online as well as on my PlayStation or on whatever, whatever. So what I thought I would do is I would tell you guys exactly which ones I've been watching. These ain't my favorite, but these ain't my worst, my least favorite either, but I've been watching them nonetheless. And I thought I'll give you guys a little bit of a list video. So let's see what I've been liking. So first on the list is Lucifer. I have been in love with this show for the last few years now. Like since it kind of came out, I saw it advertised and I thought, I really want to watch that. This looks fun. I'm a Christian, so I believe in that kind of stuff as well. I take it with a grain of salt, but at the same time, I still like to see what it's about. You know, Lucifer, Amenadiel, Azriel. Azriel, I think that's I think that's the name. But yeah, Azriel. You know, so it's just a lot of fun, really. But definitely, if you haven't watched it, I'll put this on your list. If you're into supernatural things, you'll definitely like Lucifer. I mean, I do. And it's got an 8.3 on, on IMDb anyway. So, yeah. By the way, if you want me to go into in-depth of any of these TV shows, comment it down below. And I'll definitely go in-depth about what it's all about, how many seasons they are. As well, I mean, not just how many seasons there are. But, you know, like, exactly what kind of... Like, the overall consensus and general theme of the show. Like, in Lucifer, there's two seasons. But the next show, number two is the originals. So in the originals, it's basically a spin-off of the Vampire Diaries. And I used to be a heavy fan of the Vampire Diaries. My sister got me into it. When I watched that, I really fell in love with the, the original, like the originals of it. They were like the original vampires, you know, without giving away too much to the show. They were the first ones to be turned into vampires. They've been alive for, I think it was a thousand years up until the point of the show, you know, like cap clapping niggas with fades and all sorts. I think there was five of them originally. See if I can remember all their names, Klaus, Elijah, Rebecca, Cole. Oh, what's the last guy's name? I can't remember the last guy's name. I'm actually gonna have to remember the last guy's name now. One second. So his name was Finn Michelson. That was the fifth one. On to the next one, so number three. House of Cards. House of Cards is one of my favorite shows. It's on Netflix, so that makes it really easy to watch. They always release all of it at once. There are five seasons of it, thus making it a lot easier to watch as well as you know, you can just kind of dive into it and binge at it, binge on it, sorry, at this point if you haven't already. It starts Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright. So if you don't know Kevin Spacey, Kevin Spacey's done movies like The Usual Suspects as well as American Beauty. I think both of those you won an Oscar for. As well as Robin Wright, she was in the new Wonder Woman movie as well as uh, Forrest Gump, so you know both amazing actors, so it's very gripping, it's about a man that become, wants to become the President of the United States purely because like he was snubbed for a position that he was meant to get. It's actually based off an Amer a British, sorry, of a British series of the same name, well one of the series is called House of Cards, the rest, all the other series have different names, so it makes it a little bit different from its, like you know the original. <laughs> Funny I say that. You know, it makes it a little bit different from what it was based upon and it's gone its own different route, which is amazing. And honestly, it's got a 9.0 on IMDB. I would definitely suggest giving it a watch as well. I didn't mention it before as well, but Originals does have an 8.3 on IMDB as well. So definitely all these things I watch, I believe, but from the look of it, critics think it's pretty good as well. So I'll definitely give that one a watch. So on to number four. 
Designated Survivor. Now, Designated Survivor is a lot like House of Cards in the sense of like someone be someone becomes prime uh, president of the United States, not prime minister. That's British. Someone becomes the president of the United States, but in this case, he doesn't want to be, and it was never meant to be. He just kind of did, so he just had to kind of deal with it. And basically, as it, as it kind of says in the name, designated survivor, he was set aside to be the survivor, the surviving person of Congress, if anything was happened. Sadly, something happened, thus promoting him into the position of Prime Minister. I said it again. President. <laughs> Definitely worth a watch. If you haven't watched it, I really love it. It's got Keith Sutherland in it. If you've never watched, if you watch something called Phone Booth and you know, the guy on the phone to, I can't remember what the guy's name is. Uh, I can see him in my head, but I genuinely, I'll put a picture of him like here or something. That guy, the guy on the phone to him, it's his voice. Genuinely like a, almost a sinister voice put in the right situation. But seeing him as the good guy and seeing him as such a nice guy as is in this series, it's just a massive flip on its head. So believe me, honestly worth a watch. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's on Netflix as well. So I'll definitely give it a watch if I was you. Get it watched. It's really good. Number five, freaking Game of Thrones. It's only just started, so bear with me on this one. No, literally, up until the point that this has been released, it came out four days ago. It's just Game of Thrones. Do I really need to say much about it? If you don't know about it, get to know. It's on HBO. <laughs> you know, GOT. Way to go. Pop. Pop Seriously, Game of Thrones is mint. It came back on the 17th, so, you know, I've really been into it. Like, obviously, I kind of watched a few seasons, a few episodes from the last season just to make sure I got myself recapped on it. One, it's rated the best, best TV show that's ever come out. Not my, in my case, Mad Men. Mad Men to me was the best TV show that ever came out, but like I said, personal opinion. But yeah, Game of Thrones, if you haven't watched it, I don't know, you've been living under a rock, you know, sort of thing. Everyone w w either watches it or reads it. So yeah, start watching it if you haven't already. Number six, that's iZombie. I fell in love with iZombie just after when I came back from Bournemouth. So from one of my High Arm Trees videos, I was in Bournemouth. I went to Bournemouth, then I went back to Birmingham. I ended up falling in, falling in love with the series. I just kind of came across it at one point. And then lo and behold, I'm four seasons deep and I've just never looked back. Like it's, it's kind of set in a kind of a comic book sort of thing feel so it's really interesting it's really different at the same time it's really like it's another show on the cw i watch so much stuff on the cw it's unreal really and truly but honestly if you're into zombies you'll like it if you're in the kind of comic book feel sort of things you'll like it and it's just a lot of fun it's really interesting and i'll definitely say give it a watch because it's got an 8.0 on imdb but then to top things off like you know like literally the cherry on top of the cake of things that I've been watching. One of the reasons why I haven't been doing videos and I've been what all all I've really been watching when I've been coming back from work, because if I've been tired and whatnot, is Love Island. Bullshit. Oh what the hell is this baby? chest. I can't read. I can't read oh, shit. Now Hold up, hold up, seriously. Love Island, I've not watched the first two seasons. I've only watched the third one. Honestly, it's amazing. I've, I've fallen in love with the show. My friend put me on it, and I've never looked back since. Seriously, it's one of the best things I've ever sat through. Like, it's just funny, you know, gripping. Uh, it's, I'm not looking for storyline, really, I'm not. If I've, I've, I just listed off so many things that had different storylines, that had better storylines, you know. But with Love Island, a bit of reality TV never hurt nobody. Yes, I don't, I'm not going to say to you it's going to be winning any Golden Globes. Calm down. What's not to love? Like, people say, oh, you physically get dumber from, uh, you know, watching the show. But I say they're, peop they're the kind of people, that are glass half empty kind of people. I feel like I'm just infinitely smarter after I watch it. So, yeah, it's down to personal preference with that one. But if you haven't watched it, I suggest watching it because it's just a lot of fun. They are the six things I have been watching in these last couple of weeks and months. Yeah, now you know where I've been and what I've been doing in that time as such. I'll make sure, I'm, like I said, I've told you I'll be keeping the camera recorder out while I'm, you know, doing these things. And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to smash the like button. As I told you before, don't forget to stay connected with all my social media. It's on the screen. It's down in the description as well. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? Because believe me, I'd really freaking appreciate if you did. And if you want to see anything else on this channel, don't forget to comment it down below as well. And I'll do my best to get to it. And just don't worry, I've not forgot about the gaming. 
I will be getting back to that as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.